Have you ever wondered why airplane windows are so small or why are they oval? Well, the answer to that question in one word is safety. Now for the long version. Let's start with a quick science lesson. As airplanes fly above 12,000 feet, the pressure outside decreases and the tightly packed air inside the cabin start to exert tremendous pressure on the fuselage. This is called cabin pressurization. Cabin pressurization is needed in order to create a safe, comfortable environment for passengers and crew while flying at high altitudes. This is achieved by pumping conditioned air into the cabin. The conditioned air is bled off the engines at the compressor stage, which is then cooled, humidified and mixed with recalculated air and distributed to the cabin. Typically for an aircraft flying at 39,000 feet, the cabin altitude, that is the cabin environment, is maintained at around 8,000 feet. Newer aircraft like the Boeing 787 are trying to lower the cabin altitude to about 6,000 feet. An airliner's window consists of two to three layers made out of acrylic. The small windows of the airliner are needed to withstand the forces of a pressurized cabin. If an airliner had large windows, the force of the cabin pressure exerted on it would be greater and that increases the likelihood of breaking the window. This would cause a rapid loss of cabin pressure which could be fatal. The rule of thumb here is, the higher an airplane flies, the smaller the windows. So why are airliner windows oval? Shape shouldn't matter as long as the windows are small, right? Wrong. Actually, the shape of the window does play a role in safety. The lesson was learned after a series of tragic accidents of the de Havilland DH-106 Comet. The de Havilland Comet is a British-built aircraft which was credited as the first commercial jetliner. The comet flew for the first time on the 27th of July 1949 and entered commercial service on the 2nd of May 1952 with the British Overseas Airways Corporation or BOAC for short. There were a total of four variants of the comet. The Comet 1, the Comet 2, the Comet 3 and the Comet 4. The original model, Comet 1, had square windows that were riveted into the fuselage. In 1954, there were a series of accidents where the Comet 1 disintegrated midair a few minutes after takeoff. The most famous ones being the BOAC Flight 781 and the South African Airways Flight 201. This grounded the entire Comet fleet. The investigations revealed that there was a major flaw in the design of the Comet. The corners of the square windows had high stress concentrations. The constant cycle between pressurized and depressurized state put an enormous strain on the airplane's fuselage, gradually weakening it, causing metal fatigue. The metal fatigue of the stress concentrations around the window corners led to the rupture of the fuselage, causing the airplane to disintegrate midair. In response to the investigations, de Havilland designed Comet 2 with oval windows thus eliminating stress concentrations. The oval windows can still be seen today on all pressurized commercial airliners. So there you have it folks. That's why airplane windows are small and oval. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want to see more content just like this, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and stay curious.